Digital signage is a really great way to tell all your potential customers about any new promotions that you may be running. As well as that, you might be able to even earn money from it by allowing local businesses to advertise through your digital signage system. But digital signs are really expensive and traditionally we run these signs using a PC, a Windows PC of course. But over the recent years, we've of course uh, found ourselves uh, with all these single board computers, more notably the Raspberry Pi. And a lot of big companies are using Raspberry Pis as digital signage solutions. They are really cheap, of course, and just pairing it with a cheap screen uh, gives you a great digital signage system. But now we have these Android TV boxes and here we have this V88. Now this V88 I believe cost me about $15 including shipping. That included the V88, the power supply, a remote control and of course the packaging. I got all that for $15 compared to the Raspberry Pi which is quite a bit more than that isn't it? And of course you don't get the power supply with the Raspberry Pi. You don't get the casing and yeah so this is an even cheaper solution for you guys that wants a digital signage setup for your shop or retail premises So of course, traditionally, digital signage systems would normally run through a Windows PC. But of course, over the past couple of years, we've started to see companies producing digital signage software that runs on Android. And of course, this is where our Android TV box comes in. So there's plenty of them out there. There's some free ones, some paid for ones, there's some quite expensive ones I've seen. And so it's really just a case of uh, having a look through them and finding what's best suited to you. I do suggest paying for one, I really do, because normally they're just going to be better software. You're gonna, it's going to be more reliable, isn't it, compared to the free one that's maybe not, you know, updated and supported properly. Whereas the paid for one, you're going to get support, aren't you, at the end of the day. So I've opted for this one and it is a paid one. It was just actually the first one that came up on the Play Store. And it is a paid for one, of course, but I do get a two week free trial so I can show you guys what it's all about. So it's just called Look and it's just a, a digital signage setup. And basically you install the Android app onto your TV box, uh, connect it up to your um, chosen screen and then you have at it. Yeah, you just set it up on your computer. It's just a online thing, so it's just connected and you run it through the internet basically. There's nothing really to install on your PC. So if you are a retail premises or your news agents, convenience store, I'm sure you've got a computer managing your day to day somewhere in your store. So you just run it through that basically and then have your Android TV boxes connected to the screens that would be obviously dotted around your store. So here we have the uh, actual um, software running on this TV box. We've got uh, just a couple of images basically. I believe this will be able to run video as well. And yeah, it, it's running beautifully. It's been running for a couple of hours now. And I can actually add widgets to it. So if I want to add the time and weather even to it, I'm sure you've maybe sat in the doctor's office. They normally have a screen up somewhere just telling uh, their patients about um, the services and stuff like that or upcoming events or whatever. And normally they have the time and a maybe the weather forecast somewhere in there. And that's basically a digital signage software running that. So yeah, you can add widgets to, such as time and weather and so on. You can of course add messages as well to that, a rolling scrolling message across the screen if you want to, just notifying people of whatever whatever's happening in your store. Maybe you're running a flash promotion. I don't know. It would be up to you guys to be quite creative with that. So we've got our really cheap TV boxes, this V88 is so darn cheap, it's unreal. And you know, I've had it for a couple of years and it's still running beautifully. I would say one thing though, these digital signage plays of course are gonna be running pretty much 24 seven, aren't they? I would recommend upgrading the power supply to something decent. The power supply that tends to come with these TV boxes are quite cheap and sometimes in some cases, can be quite dangerous so what i would say is just invest in a better power supply go to your local electronics store find something that's 
up to scratch basically and use that if you plan on using it a lot because you don't want to risk it you know blowing up or something like that because i have had these power supplies explode on me before and that's just the way it is with these cheap things um the power supplies tend to be really cheap but this v88 i've had for about three years now and it's never let me down it's still running beautifully i mean it's not the best tv box ever but yeah it's still going strong and for that sort of money you can't really complain so now we've got our cheap tv box we need a screen so screens can be quite expensive can't they but not if you look in your local classifieds maybe if you're in america you've got obviously got craig's list here in the uk we'd maybe use gumtree or ebay even or, you know, there's some places where you can just see some maybe free listings and stuff like that. Maybe your local car boot, um, if, if it's the summertime, of course. You're just basically looking for a really cheap screen. And, of course, we've got computer monitors. Now, a computer monitor, they tend to be really cheap. I've got this one just here. And this cost me about, I think it was about 20 quid at the time or something like that. You can get these ones on eBay for next to nothing. They're dirt, dirt cheap. Now, they are VGA, of course, so you will need a VGA to HDMI adapter to work with your Android TV box because they tend to come with HDMI connections. But yeah, that will work perfectly fine. So a screen like that would be just nice, say, next to a till point. Then you can, of course, you know, you see all these all the time when you go in your local convenience store, don't you? And they've got a little screen next to the till point, and it's just flashing scratch card promotions or whatever. Maybe not a scratch card promotion, but you know what I mean. Uh, maybe some buy one, get one free on some drink or something like that. You know what I'm saying. But those screens that you see normally in these convenience stores cost hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars. They aren't cheap. Whereas you could just easily use a PC monitor. Just get rid of this, um, the logo on the front, just scratch it off. Or if you're creative enough, you can get you can mask it over or something like that. And that screen will just happily sit there playing your promotions all day long. Of course, these types of screens, the viewing angles aren't the best. But, you know, it's 15 quid, isn't it? Or, or $20 or whatever. Uh, so it's not really going to be a, such a big issue, is it? So, yeah, you just get creative. You, I mean, these screens, if you get the right monitor mount for example you can have it vertically of course you need to adjust your promotional material to fit the screen just right but yeah you can have it vertical you can play something um, of course like that so yeah just get creative <laughs> 